in a mess in our country as each and every community is now forming regrouping themselves to form their own presidential preferred candidate on 2027 or 2032 francis atuoli the court boss is coming out with a very shocking news here with us again after just limuru three very interesting this is whatever Atwali is saying. Bukungu 3 will shake the polit politics of Kenya Atwali. Shorten it very clear for you to understand. So why are these people coming out with this form uh, formation? So it means after Central Kenya, we are on Western. Then Rift Valley is going to also to form Rift Valley 3. After Rift Valley, Luos are going to form Luos 3. Or even the people of Kisi. I want to begin by saying, we got independent 1963 due to some dictatorship which were being experienced by our forefathers in our country. They struggled vividly some toil night, some toil daytime, to ensure that the one speaking to you today is having a freedom. But our leaders of today are the ones taking our country into a wrong direction. After central people had formed Limuru III, Francis Atuoli, the court boss, is also coming out with a looming crisis under President Ruto's administration. The same people speaking are in the government. They are working with Ruto. They are eating with Ruto. They are drinking with the president. But at the end of the day, they go hide somewhere and form political, uh, political disagreement against President Ruto. Furthermore, at all, uh, continued by saying I always tell my people that I will one day witness witness the crowning of a lawyer president and that is why we will have the Bukungu 3 we will shake the politics of Kenya and that is the reason why I as a, why as a, a leader why as leader sorry we are working on more unity and cohesiveness with Mulembe people. So Atwali's interest is based on president, not even a deputy president, just a president. Who is this person Atwali is referring to? Is it not Musalia Mdavadi? Or is it not the current speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Masika Wetangula? The answer is based on the two names I've just mentioned. I want us to dig deep on this analysis. Why is Atwali also forming Bukungu 3 in Western region? Before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, it is still Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel. I want to appreciate you as we are all set for 3,000 subscribers. For those who tune in and subscribe to our channel, I want to say thank you so much for your support. Because if it was not your support, then this channel could have not reached where it is as at now. I also want to say, please consider to give a thumb to our videos, thumb of like to our videos. Any video you watch, please consider to like our video. Some of you are just watching the video, but they don't give a thumb of like. Please remind yourself that way. If you like our videos, it will reach to several people in the YouTube community. And that is the kind of job you can offer to our channel. And also drop your opinion at the comment section below. Let's dig deep on Francis Atwoli. Francis Atwoli supported Uru Kenyatta 2017. When Uru Kenyatta was having a political wrangles between Raila Odinga 
and Kalonzo Msioka. So Atwoli supported them because it was why by that time again the court boss in order to gain favor in Uru's government. 2022, the same man supported Uru Kenyatta's agenda on endorsing Raila Odinga as the preferred the fifth president in the Republic of Kenya. He went against Ruto, talked ill-mannered against Ruto, and he had no hope that Ruto could have clenched into, the pow into power. The same Zimatuoli influenced Ruto, and they are working together with Ruto at this moment. Now, when he saw Jeremiah Kioni and Martha Karua forming Limuru 3, he also came up with this Bukungu 3 meeting on based on lawyers' unity. So it means that each and every tribe in the country is going to regroup themselves, form a presidential candidate whom they like or love, and those team as their kingpin and battle with President Ruto. So Ruto might have 20 people or even more fighting him. But why do you think all this are happening? Why do you think all this are happening? Because I, I, I was only preferring that the same people like Atuli are the ones who are supposed to give President Ruto advice in every mistake he have made. But now you see, they are turning against Ruto, creating wars against Ruto, and forming several groups in the country. This movement, when it will carry on this way, our country is going to turn into chaos. And vote split is going to increase as compared to 2022. They are also going to create confusion at the IBC level. Why? It's because if each and every community have endorsed their president, their presidential candidate, then where will the deputy president come from? If Ruto is going to pick from Luo, then central people are going to embark into battle. If Ruto might pick the deputy president from Western, as Atul is saying, then central people, uh, Western people uh, are going to be happy, as Luo's people, community are going to be sad. Rift Valley are, going, uh, are just going to be happy, but what about Kisi people that are going to be sad? They are going to feel political betrayal. They are going to feel political disagreement, discrimination. So Francis Atwoli, Kioni, Martha Karua, and the rest are the ones who are now forming all this coalition. I don't know who is sponsoring these people. Because this is a very big disaster imagining in our country. If not well taken serious, then it is going to break several things based on political agenda promises. Have you ever even asked yourself, why is Atuli now having interest on Bukungu 3? Is he going to, uh, to be endorsed himself? Or Mudavadi? Or even Atembea? Who else do you prefer? So this Bukungu 3 is also a wrong movement. This is a wrong movement of political imagining in our country. When you want unity, call your people and tell them you the unity. Based on the agendas. Discuss the agenda. What do you want government to do for you? Then talk to president. With us, Sisi Tumefanya Mkutano. 
kutoka Western tumeona ni vizuri utujengie viwanda hata kama ni mbili ama tatu tutashukuru mheshimiwa rais lakini uke okay, okay, if you form a, a, a meeting having an aim of your interest political interest endorsement of kingpin endorsement of i don't know so and so then this the battle this will be uh, the battle will begins on that motion or move so i call upon our leaders please let's embrace unity let's have vision for our country kenyans are really suffering it is not every now and then politics 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 with zero agenda with zero promises let's all focus and maintain our promises agenda to the people in the country that is the remarks which comes from francis atwoli the last observation on this move is that atwoli is now also seeking attention from president ruto is testing ruto and atwoli also want to confirm who is the best preferred kingpin in central uh, in western kenya apart from him then if that kingpin is endorsed then natural is going to work with him and it is a kind of broker also satwell is also another broker that's playing politics and not working for for the workers awateti uh, wafanyikazi hmm. and that is whatever is now happening ladies and gentlemen meanwhile what are your take on this bukungu 3 coming in our country again bye bye and i want to thank you for watching me on this channel